an upsetting Trump country, Democrat Doug Jones bests Roy Moore in Alabama. Democrat Doug Jones has won the Alabama Senate special election, a victory that was a stunning upset in a deeply red state that voted overwhelmingly for President Trump. The president, who had backed Republican Roy Moore despite multiple accusations of sexual misconduct and assault, congratulated Jones on Twitter. The win by Jones, projected by the Associated Press two hours after the polls closed Tuesday night, is here to send shockwaves through Washington. The special election to replace Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who left the Senate in February, was upended in November as multiple women came forward to say Moore had pursued them romantically as teenagers when he was in his 30s. Some alleged he had sexually assaulted them, including one woman who said he had initiated sexual contact with her when she was just 14. Moore has denied the accusations. The unfolding controversy made what should have been a safe GOP race anything but. It's the first Democratic Senate victory in the state in 25 years and now gives Republicans an even narrower, 51-49 Senate majority that could imperil GOP legislative priorities in 2018. Jones will be up for re-election to a full term in 2020. Alabama has been at a crossroads. We have been at crossroads in the past, and unfortunately we have usually taken the wrong fork, Jones said in his victory speech. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you took the right fork. NBA legend Charles Barkley returned to his native Alabama to campaign for Jones in the closing days and told CNN after the Democrats' victory, we got a bunch of rednecks and ignorant people, but we got some amazing people here and they rose up today. It's the first major electoral blow to Trump since his own upset victory just over a year ago, giving Democrats a special election win after several near misses. Democrats were victorious in November in the Virginia and New Jersey governor's races, but the win in such a red state that Trump won by almost 30 points is a political earthquake heading into the 2018 midterm elections. The president had come to Moore's defense, casting doubt on the women's allegations much as he has done with the multiple women who have accused him of sexual assault. While Trump didn't campaign with Moore, he did hold a rally just across the border from Alabama and Pensacola, Florida, on Friday evening and recorded a robocall on his behalf, urging voters to choose Moore because he would support his agenda in the Senate. And after Trump reaffirmed his endorsement for Moore last week, the Republican National Committee reinstated its financial support for the GOP nominee after having pulled it following the accusations. Trump was unusually restrained on Twitter late Tuesday congratulating Jones and refraining from placing blame. Moore refused to concede Tuesday night, saying that his campaign would wait on God and let this process play out. He pointed to the uncertain rights and totals he believed could still change the outcome and trigger a recount. However, there has to be a difference of 0.5% or less between the two candidates to trigger an automatic recount, and with almost all the votes in, Jones' margin of victory was about three times that. The problem with this campaign is we've been painted in an unfavorable and unfaithful light, Moore said to a dwindling group of supporters Tuesday night. Alabama Republican Secretary of State John Merrill said on CNN that the race will be certified between December 26 and January 3, and he cast doubt on the idea that the margin could change substantially even after write-in votes are totaled and validated. Democrats were quick to point to the reversal by the RNC to renew support for Moore and indicated they would use it as fodder heading into the 2018 campaign. Today, in one of the most Republican states in the nation, the people of Alabama chose common decency and integrity over partisan politics, Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee Chairman Chris Van Hollen, DMD, said in a statement. Donald Trump and the Republican National Committee did the opposite siding with a candidate who wanted to drag Alabama back to the days of George Wallace and faced a mountain of credible evidence that he had engaged in child sexual abuse. President Trump, Republican Senate candidates and the Republican National Committee showed us exactly who they are by standing with Roy Moore and we will make sure voters do not forget it. Other national Republicans had been far less hospitable. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he believes Moore's accusers and called on him to step aside though he had softened his stance in recent weeks by saying the choice was up to Alabama voters. Senate ethics investigation into the sexual assault allegations against Moore likely also would have followed had he won. McConnell's allied super PAC, the Senate Leadership Fund, had spent heavily to support appointed Senator Luther Strange in the primary, fearful that a Moore win would put the seat in jeopardy even before the sexual assault allegations against him surfaced. Trump had backed Strange then, too 
but Steve Bannon, his former chief strategist who has since returned to lead Breitbart News, supported Moore and rallied with him in the closing days. Bannon had long touted Moore as part of the war he had promised to wage on the GOP establishment, backing challengers to sitting incumbents who would